Let's go and talk about MIGs. There's some really interesting stuff uh, in the game about MIGs, some on-ball stats. Um, Darth, should we talk about yes. these? Now, there's been, for a stats show, there's been a distinct absence of stats in the last 10 minutes, so we're going to bring that back. <laughs> with, yeah, with we can trust stats. you to do that. Let's do it. <laughs> right, okay. So, um, I um, I watched the game, and aside from Emre, I, I thought MIGs was my man of the match. Um and uh, you, you, you know, you watch, you watch enough, you watch football for thirty years, and then you, you just, you, know, you, you know, you know when players play well. And I've had, I, I put it out on Twitter afterwards. I got, I got actually got retweeted by Jamie Carragher. So there you go, that was nice. Um, and um, but then you get it's interesting. Carragher's um, obviously got, you know, however five million followers or whatever. And then you, you, you do get exposed to some rather interesting parts of the internet that um, you might not otherwise be exposed to. <laughs> and you got some rather choice responses about him. Yeah. Most of them, rain, uh, a lot of them people seem to be saying, well, he should be doing that anyway. And catching a ball, who would have thought that's the future and that kind of stuff. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, anyway. me, me and Sire have been getting some similar responses recently. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, so what, what I wanted to do was just, just, just talk about... Um, we looked at this in great detail, then we gagged. So you yes. went through the video because yeah. um, when you see the numbers, we always say when you see a standout number on an opta, like on opta feed, you know what to look at. You know what you know what's a high. You know what's a lot of something, don't you? Yes. And um, when we saw six six crosses claimed, uh, one punch, and uh, two saves, and three aerial duels, that's a lot. For an, uh, that's a lot of events for a goalkeeper to generate. Now, one thing we did get, we got a really good question from Jan Riha about oh, I did anyway about why why do you have aerial duels and then you have punches and then you have cross claims. Uh, cross claims. claims. And he, he said, "I'm trying to." He said, "Oh, I'm trying to think of any other scenario." And it, 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 and what we found out is it's, it, it's an addition, isn't it, Gags? It's yeah. the best way to describe it. So you, you can either go for a claim, claim the ball, or drop it. You can either go for a punch, punch it clear, or, or muff the punch. And then, if if you if you're in direct contest with an opponent, you'll also be given an aerial duel at the same time, yeah. Yeah. So it's a combination of the two. Um, so, so you found yeah. some examples, didn't you, in this game? Yeah, because it was, it was three out of three on aerial duels in this game. He was brilliant. Yeah, three out of three, and uh, each time Mr. Deeney's involved. You know, <laughs> to, I think Deeney's Deeney tried to trip him up on one as well. A cheeky little shit. Uh, but yeah, he was. Uh, you know what? That's people massive, from Birmingham, Gex. Massive. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm not from Birmingham, thankfully. But yeah, uh, <laughs> it was. <laughs> He was actually really confident. That's one of the things that you see from him. And he's not... There was one in the first half that was... Um, that There was only pressure from our own defender. I think it was Matip that was really, really close to him. In the past, you'd, you'd look at Miggs and you think, oh, he's going to fumble. He fumbles. And then there's a player right next to Matip standing there who's ready for the tap-in. Stuff like that used to happen, you know. Yeah, stuff that exactly. you couldn't... And he's just grabbing Making it and holding things. on. But then under pressure in the second half, where we're under the cosh now, we're one nil up. The the way that we're pressing's totally changed. Uh, we'll go into that in a second, and we're definitely defensively set up. I mean, we, we we've got more of the ball as well, so it's just we're pressing in different areas. Sorry, not defensive set. We're pressing in different areas, so we've got more coming at us in terms of crosses. And he's picked up everything. Everything's gone into his arms or punched out. And not just punch that. Remember the other punches, uh, Dan, in the past? They've gone like yeah. dropped like two yards. Yeah. He's exactly. cleared so that'd the, be a failed punch, that would yeah. cleared the box. Yeah. Cleared the box with the There punch. was one there was one where he was he was right with Niang, wasn't there, as well, late yes. on. Yes. And he looked like and Niang was almost looking like he was trying to clear him out first rather than even play the ball. And he still got it away, didn't he, with a big punch. Yep. That's the one. So so but what I want to say was so in the end it was it was there was seven punches or claims in this one, and three of them were down as aerial duels, right? So what I did was I went back to the data and... This is mad, yeah. We, yeah, I got full seasons going back to 2011-12. And Pete, what, what, I think aerial duels involving keepers are a lot rarer than you might imagine, right? The league average, it, 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 you're lucky if a keeper makes one every five games. In, in terms of per 90s, it, it's 0.16 aerial duels per 90 minutes, which is about one every five and a half games. Wow, and and Migs did th Migs was done three times in this game. Now you can say it's because we're being targeted, mm. definitely, isn't it? He opposition sense of weakness because there was Alan Pardew talking on Sky doing the commentary the whole game about 
our weaknesses and why you know how he's planned for it in the past and how everybody knows about our problem so but you can see we're going to get more stuff coming our way and that's going to happen until we prove that we can deal with it yeah. so aerial duels involving a keeper are not that common at all right and then if you talk about cross claims and punches you're looking at just under two per match the average keeper is just under two per match so and then Migs had a total of seven in this game didn't he um Matt, now Matt. okay yeah, yeah, it's a huge a number for a keeper to do compared to a normal game. Do we give up yeah. a lot of crosses, though, Dan. We do. No, we do. We do. Well, give no, a lot well, of no, we, well, no, no, we don't actually, because I, you know, in terms of in total volume of crosses allowed, we're as low as it's ever been in the Premier League, wow. along with City. Really? City. Yeah, I, I talked about that earlier this season twice. You remember the, the Q and A show and stuff. Oh yes, did. yes yeah. you did. Yes you did. Yeah, that's so, crazy because it seems like when you're watching it, we just yeah. give them up easily. You know, I think it's four. Last time I looked, it was only fourteen crosses per game. We're giving up. And we gave up fourteen the... in this game. Did we? Mm. Nice one. Flipping neck. We're just right. We're, yeah. Okay. But, Fine. but what I wanted to look at was what what Migs has maybe done this season. Has there been an improvement? Because obviously in this game there was. So in his first three years at Liverpool, uh, sorry, uh, the league average is 0.16 aerials per game at 80 percent success rate. And the punches and claims is 1.9 per game at 95.5% success rate. Many of those first three seasons, he was pretty much the league average 0.19 per game, but his aerials were 77%. That's 11% below the league average rate. And he was 1.8% on 1.8 on his claims and punches and 89%. So that's 6% below the league average rate on his claims and punches. And this and season? Then, and, no, and on the errors, all, all errors, so he was 777, uh, the league average is 777 minutes per error, and Minile was 539 in his first three, first three seasons. This season, he's been exposed to over, he's 0.53 aerials per 90 minutes. No other keeper in the league has faced more than 0.3. Flipping heck. Right, and he's 93% success rate now. And that Holy was, hell. and his first three seasons, 77% success rate. His minutes per error this season is 2,386. He's only made one. Wow. He's only been charged with one, which has led to a shot. And his claims and punches is very similar, 1.6 per game, close to the league average, but 97.7%. All hail, that. all hail John Achterberg. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I mean, because if you, if you just want to talk, we're not talking about shot stop, we're not talking about distribution, just talking about command in his box, command in his six-yard box. And I looked at this then, he's pretty much the most solid goalkeeper in the league, I think the, if you look at the data, the most commanding goalkeeper is probably Gomez. Actually, Watford's goalkeeper. He's 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 got 100 percent on his aerial duels this season. Made only two errors, and he's 79 out of 80 on his claims and punches, it's, which is the you know. But after that, along with Jordan speaking, Pickford, yeah, statistically speaking, yes. But obviously, you have to look at it as that we're targeted loads, and that's why the stats yeah. are going to be high. But other other goalies that are probably better, they're just not going to have those numbers because people aren't actually going to. Try and do well, it to them. Do you know what I mean? Not just that. Not just that. No? There, there, there is there is an opportunity issue going on here for sure, um, but not with the percentage, obviously. But with the with the volume, there is op- opportunity. Yeah. You can't you can't claim a cross that wasn't put in in the first place. Maybe this speaks a lot. There is definite improvement with him, but this maybe this speaks a lot about how little our, our centre backs had the ball, or yeah. or how compared little our other, fullbacks compared to other teams. Block, block crosses, maybe. As well, we should... no, because we're getting crosses. I, I just looked at, I looked at literally the crosses that went in in this game, and eight of them were were basically in, in onto the um, uh, right in the centre of the six yard box. So they were Miguel should be coming to claim those. Why do they happen? Yeah, I ju- I just think had we signed a goalkeeper in January and it had been Miguel and it had performed like this, we'd have been hailing him. Yeah, because uh, yeah. Since, if his career then, had started, since, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, first of January this year, yeah, I agree. I, I, I never thought I'd see this level of command of a box and quality on a punch. No, it's true, but but, but just pref- just just to contextualise this, I sat and watched him at against Bournemouth, and he did not have the same authority in his box. Uh, I friends. think I, I, I was about to say that. I wonder if there's a home and away thing going on here. Yeah, Ooh. maybe and. We've all obviously looked at the, the savability and we'll go into more detail about because his past record on that is, I think, it's terrible. Um, yeah, his savability has improved slightly, but it's not great. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So the we, thing we, he's we, famous we, for is not. We, is we mentioned it last week as well, didn't we? Went through the shots last week. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, j- just on just on the rivals as well on the errors. De Gea, Courtois, and Czech all two errors this season. Minion is one, but Lloris has got six. Been given six yeah. errors. This season. Holy Lloris shit! Been, but he has been fairly terrible in a couple a couple of really gash games. Yeah, and, had yeah. Bad times. Yeah. yeah. Bloody hell! And six was, errors and, is a lot. Yeah. And he missed um, Thingy's free kick in the semi final, didn't he as well? Yeah, we need to do um we do we need to do a, an update on errors actually for Liverpool in the next one. one. Of my, it's on my back backlog list. Yeah, definitely because we were we were doing quite high in the first half season. That means it'd be a good one to end it with. But should we move on to pressing? Uh, Dan, that was really impressive. Thank you for that on Migs and uh, keepers. I like that. It's really yeah, rare to get good yeah. keeper keeper stats and stuff and Very. make make a really good point there. 